Hello. Ever since I moved, oh hi, my name is Betsy. Welcome back to my channel. Ever since I moved a few months ago, a lot of people have had the same exact question. How did you move so many houseplants from one city to another? And please show us how. So today's video is gonna be about how I moved my houseplants from Paris to Lille. And uh, that's, that's it really, that, that's about it. Oh, it might be a little bit different if you have your own car or your own truck because you're in complete and total control of everything. Uh, maybe you could just load your plants in the back seat of your car. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you roll. I don't know what you're doing or what the weather is like. But I personally was moving when it was pretty cold outside and all I have are like tropical and subtropical house plants. And I hired two guys and a truck. So they were in control of unloading all of my boxes and doing all of the moving for me. So I was kind of worried. I knew that they weren't gonna like pick up my boxes and shake them or something, but I, I had to make sure that, you know, if the boxes got jostled around, that it wouldn't cause too much damage to my plants. I did lose two plants in the move. I lost a croton, and I mean, it's so easy to lose one of those anyway. And my begonia crackling rosy bit the dust, but that's okay, that's life. I'll get another one eventually because I really like that begonia a lot. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it. You get your, you gotta get your materials. You gotta get your tape, your scissors. If you don't have one of those amazing tape guns, then you gotta get your box. These are just, these are like book boxes. They're like boxes made for books. It's not like a huge cardboard box. It's fairly short because my plants aren't that tall, most of them. So I didn't need gigantic boxes and boxes cost money, so. So you have to find the, hang on, just gotta find the tip of the tape there, oh, oh, <laughs> and no, that's not it, wait, can you see this one? I think I got it, I think I got it, yes! and then proceed to quickly get it tangled up in itself, and after about the 12th time that you do that, you're just gonna lose your freaking mind! Okay, I kept this pretty basic because packing my plants was my very last priority. I wanted to do it as late as possible. And I knew that the dudes were coming, we were gonna pack everything in boxes, the move was gonna take exactly four hours precisely, and then I could come home and unpack my plants. I just took my biggest plants. And put them in boxes first. Um, I mean, if you have hangers, you can choose to take them off. But I was in a really big hurry. I literally moved in like, I found a new apartment and moved in two days. So I was in a really huge hurry and I just kind of let them like this. And also it was kind of beneficial because I think it prevented them from, like once this is resting against the top of the box, it's kind of preventing it from getting jostled around a little. I just swept the vines around gently so that it's not sitting on its own vines. My other Hoya, and do the same thing. And just kind of gently. Now, back here in this corner, I have a hole, right? So if this box gets jostled around, these plants might scoot. So I just took another plant, like my Hoya Obscura, and tucked it in that hole, making sure that it's not sitting on top of any of the vines that are already in the box. So push the vines aside put Hoya Obscura in there and now it's kind of a tight fit so they're not going to be sliding around in the box if you know whatever happens I'm gonna use my epifilm here in the other corner okay now you have plants in a box look at that you could stop here if you want if you want if you if you really have a lot of boxes because you're super rich and you can afford 3,000 boxes you could stop here but if you're me, you're gonna take some bubble wrap. Put it, put it here, you know? Kind of protect, create a little protective layer. And then you'll take your tiniest, itty bittiest plants that you still need to do an update on three months ago and put them on top. These are my African violets for those of you who are Super interested in an update on my African violets. They're doing really well. I still haven't split the roots or the pups. And uh, you know what? I'm starting to doubt that I'm ever gonna do it. <laughs> 
But if anything, I really need to repot them soon because they have exploded completely. So these are really, really lightweight. They're not gonna damage the Hoyas beneath them. And it's just an easy way to get like really tiny plants into the box too. And if you don't have a ton of tiny plants and it's hard to find a box small enough for your tiny plants, etc. So put this here and then tape that buddy back up and you got yourself a box full of plants. <sighs> for my biggest plants, I got this ridiculous, gigantic wardrobe box that like, you're supposed to be able to buy a rack that goes across so you can hang your fancy suits because you're super wealthy and you can afford one of these boxes. Uh, I don't really recommend doing that. This box was really expensive, but I was desperate and scared for my plants. If you can transport your largest plants like just by themselves without them getting tumbled around, I would recommend just doing that. But I basically got this for like my fiddly leaf fig and my calathea because I was worried. I didn't know how those guys were gonna treat my plants. You know what I mean? I didn't know if they, they don't. What if they're not plant people? What if they're just like, here's your plant? You know, I don't know what they're gonna do. So I just put the fiddly leaf fig in the box. That's it. That's what, oh, and then, you know, close it, tape the box. And you know, it was sticking out of the top, but that's okay. I mean, as long as most of the plant is protected, <laughs> that's all I really cared about. And it, it was a way to move like three or four plants at once. I did put my Begonia Maculata Whitei in here, my Begonia Coralina, and one of my Calatheas. And the Begonias really suffered. They lost a ton of leaves. It's just like, if you, if you have a delicate plant, you just be super careful. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to tell you. It's delicate plants. Delicate plant. Carry it in your lap. Some other tips and tricks that I would give. Hang on. Wait. I want to be closer. I want to be closer to you. So some other tips and tricks that I would give. Don't water your plants for a few days or like a week before you move. Just refrain from watering because that's gonna make the boxes lighter because the more moist the soil, the heavier the plant pot is gonna be. So that's gonna make the moving process a little bit easier because the boxes won't be as heavy. And also you won't risk uh, water getting all over your cardboard boxes and then them becoming mush and like turning into a complete total disaster that you really don't need to deal with right now because you are in the middle of a move. Don't stack plants. Uh, like don't stack, <laughs> I stacked plants. Don't stack heavy plants on top of heavy plants because it's gonna damage the leaves. So for me, it seemed okay to put my little African violets on top of my other plants with a layer of bubble wrap, but I wouldn't put like Hoyas on Hoyas on Hoyas on Hoyas on Hoyas. What else? Uh, oh, I have a trick. If you have a lot of uh, tiny plants, like little, little Hoya Australis here, you have a bunch of tiny plants, and you're afraid they're gonna get jostled around because they're so tiny and delicate, or you know, you're putting them on top of your other plants with bubble wrap and you're afraid that the soil is gonna tumble out of the pot, just take uh, like a makeup remover cotton pad. These are pretty cheap. You can get like a whole sleeve of them for a buck at the dollar store, it's a buck. And then cut a slit down the center so that it's like a little Pac-Man. Put it on top of the soil and put the slit around the stem of the plant, like so. I said like so. There you go. And you have like a quick soil protector and then you can just kind of like tape it down on each side like that. And there you go. Your soil's not going anywhere. Last but not least, don't stress too much. They're just plants, it's okay. You just, you need to get yourself from point A to point B. Moving is an exhausting endeavor and uh, it, having a ton of plants can add to that stress, but you know, just breathe and focus on what's important. Uh, those are all my tips and tricks for moving plants from point A to point B. I really did keep it that simple. I really did just get a box and put plants in it. I didn't go over the top, I didn't go crazy. I did not have time to wrap up my plants as if I was shipping them in the mail. And they did just fine. I only lost two plants and they were both in an already really fragile state and the weather was super cold so I knew I, I was probably gonna lose a few. And uh, you know, it wasn't a big surprise. And those are plants that are easily replaceable. Nowadays I have like a Begonia Amphioxus that I'll show you in another upcoming video. And with a plant like that, I would probably 
wrap it in newspaper and bubble wrap and put it in a glass jar and wrap that in bubble wrap and newspaper and then put that in a box and then maybe put that in bubble wrap and a bigger box, I would probably would do everything that I could to protect that plant. But that's a really rare plant and it's taken me over one year to find it. It's a little bit different. <laughs> I would probably have also carried it with me on the train with my cats. Thank you for watching my uh, how to move houseplants from one home to another tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this and that it was helpful and that if you're moving, it's not too stressful. You know, don't stress. It's temporary and it'll be over soon, I promise. If you have any comments or questions, leave it down below and I'll get back to you when I can. If you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to share. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.